Hello and welcome to episode 92 of season 2 of Bobo Scrabati Records. Yay! Hmm. So, on Monday's episode we decided to play the M44 for a bit, round tier 6. Kind of had a good game and some okay games, you know, we didn't win them all, but hey-ho. Um, it was good to hear the American commander's voice as well for the first time, so that was cool. I thought, you know, for today's episode maybe we could stick around tier 6, so I was going to start off with the Hummel. Um, yeah, so something with the Hummel is that it was very, very good, and of the last few patches, it's kind of not really been as, as good as it used to be. Um, yeah, so there is talk about using either one of the guns, because the uh, the Tier 5 here, 21 second reload, you know, the, the aim time is good, but this one hits harder, um, the Tier 6 gun, but longer aim time you're not firing as many shells but you know it's quite close to be honest uh, this one's got a bit more of a limited range if I remember rightly uh, I still I've used both and you see I've still got both I do swap between them but I do feel that the tier 6 for me anyway just for my play style is better but let's have a couple of games anyway I mean this has still got a fresh crew they haven't got brothers in arms yet and in my opinion, I think Brothers in Arms is probably more important because once you're spotted, you're spotted. You know, um, you, you're going to be dead m more more often than not. Anyway, uh, yeah. So you know, once we get Brothers in Arms on this, it might improve a little bit more uh, from what I remember. I do have some chocolate to try and help, so that's a thing. Um, yeah, but enough of me jabbering. Let's um, let's just have a few games and chill. Aha! Fjords. Right. Standard match. Five sixes and seven, so we're in the middle of the table. Two artillery per side, and we're in the north, so I'm going to head over to kind of A6, I think. That way we'll be able to get some shots down on the south, if the heavy tanks decide to go that way. Uh, we will be a little bit exposed if their team decide to push around the north but we need to be awake to that and move around accordingly hopefully though our guys will be able to protect that section giving us time to be able to throw some shells down around E6 and all the way around J what's that J4 down south there yeah <laughs> kind of getting there. We need to push up that little bit more. M4's being brave. This is good with the GW Panther on our team being over over where he is. We kind of got crossfire across most of the map which is handy. So I'm surprised nothing's been spotted around here yet. You would have thought that someone would see something. I mean, there's some demolished bits here, so... Wow, that went long, didn't it? Jeez. Okay, this KV-1's looking a little bit nervous. I think we're probably going to have to move, because... There, guys are pushing on the north considerably. Mm, let's just see if he pushes back. Is he going to push back? No. Ah, super. Oh well, at least we managed to take out the M4. That's a bloody good start, isn't it? You know when I said we should probably move? Yeah, we, we probably should have moved rather than me waiting to throw that shell at the, uh, the T29 for 44 damage. See if we were still sat over where we started, we'd be alive now. Oh well. Alright. Well, we won't let we won't wait for this to come back. We'll pop out in something else and then, you know, we'll look at the results together. Okay, so 
whilst we're waiting for the Hummel to come back, let's, uh, let's go out in the, the SU-8 because that's tier 6 as well. Good stuff, Runeberg, standard match. Fives and sixes. It's interesting, just two tiers. Okay. One artillery per side, they've got the M44, so we can fire more shells, but I think they're probably more accurate than us. We're in the north, so I'm going to sit just next to this building here. So kind of roundabouts here-ish. We'll have a look for you know, anyone that decides to pop up here. Just to begin with. Okay. Interesting. People have normally been spotted by now. And there's a wee leopard. Oh, is he going to sit still? Long enough for us to aim in. And then I moved the reticule just enough to not hit him. That's good. I mean, I suppose we could throw another one, just in case he... I mean, what's the likelihood of him sitting still, but... Hey-ho. Okay, T-3485. Mm. Okay, he is pushing forwards. That's a shame. Let's uh, try and get something on this. Or not. Maybe on the T-14. Especially if he moves back. Is he going to move back? Oh, the same time is long. And that fell really short. Super. Okay, he's going to get hit in the bum soon. Oh, he's going to push back that way. Rightio. This guy is open topped and fairly soft, so we might be able to throw something at him. There we are. So, there's the M44. He's been spotted by everybody. I think he's had his tracks taken off. Um, I wonder if he's actually going to sit still. I mean, I think we probably would have stunned him there. It's probably best for us then to let's shoot things that we can see. Um, like this chap. And as I say, that he disappears. Ooh. Okay. Hellcat. Another open top machine. Bit squishy. If he stays in a position for us to actually hit. Um. Wonder if he sat there. He did. We've stunned him. Just need people to actually hit him now. There we go, there's a bit of stun damage. Good stuff, so he's probably going to cop it soon. I'm guessing the M44 isn't still sat here. No. Although he might have been, we could have just splashed him or something, couldn't we? Although saying that, that Churchill would have seen, seen him by now. He's probably sat in there. Can't imagine him to be anywhere else. Don't think we're going to be able to get a kill on him anyway. I wonder if we could stun him. No. <laughs> ah well. Hey, good game. Not good tree over. All right then, let's have a look at the results for these last two because the Hummels come back. So we actually managed to get eye for an eye because we finished off the M4 because he decided to ram us. Didn't really do much else there though, did we? Okay, 55 hit points of damage. We Super, two shots fired. Two? Alright, oh, yeah, of course, duh. Uh, but only one splash for 55 hit points of damage. We caused a stun. Didn't get any stun or resistance damage though. But we didn't make a loss, so, you know. There's a thing, bit more XP and... You know, some some credits, so that's good. We got a personal reserve for this SU-8 game. It's nice, it's better. The victory. What's that? One, two, three, fourth on, fourth on XP. 
and damage. Good stuff. Decent amount of credits. Nine shots fired, two direct hits, two penetrations, three splash for 895 with a kill. 117 assistance and 150 stun with only four stuns though. Okay. Not too bad. The 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 really quick reload time of this of being around 16, 17 seconds is the really long aim time. But, you know, I think this is another one where Brothers in Arms is going to definitely sort it out for us. Right, let's go back to the Hummel and try him again. Okie dokie, Cliff. Standard match. Six, sevens and eights. Three artillery per side and we're in the north. Woohoo! I'm starting to remember my north from my south now. Which is good. So... Okay. Thanks for that. He turned us around nice and quick. It's good. Let's get over into the A1 kind of area. You know, you notice that the last three episodes the bunnies haven't been on camera very often. Well, I bought home a nice big piece of cardboard and I folded it in half. And they use it like a little bit of a lean-to. Like a wee shed. And... It's great, they like hiding in it and stuff and chewing on it and blah blah blah. Um, but because they've been sitting in it, obviously no one really sees them very often. So, yeah, that was, that was alright, wasn't it? Um, so, I thought to myself today, before I start recording, I will move it out into the hallway so then they have to sit around and you guys can actually see them for a bit. No, not to be. Um, that M12 sounded like he was over here. Hmm. Um, yeah, so, so what actually happened in the end is uh, now they're both just sat upstairs in the hutch. So, because why wouldn't they be? I wonder if it's worth looking for that. M12 again. We should probably just be firing on people we can see, to be honest. I think that's going to be best. I do too much of this looking at an empty map thing, don't I, really? Wow, that went long, didn't it? Okay, maybe we can help out. Help out here, Rio. Eleven seconds left. Come on, 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 come on. Oh dear. Good. That's something. Ooh, there you go. Look, some counter battery. See, I didn't move. So that's what happens when you don't move. Ah. <sighs> so, yes. Still, that's the thing. At least you can see why I move around when I do. Because if I had have done, I would have moved just up there. And then we wouldn't have got hit. So, you know. There's a thing. Talking of tier 6s, I bet you guys had forgotten that. You know, thought I'd forgotten it. Yeah, the Burt's tier 6. Let's go out in that while we wait for the Hummel to come back. Serene Coast. Standard match, two eight game again, sixes, sevens and eights, three artillery per side. That seems to be the way of things this week so far. Okay, we're in the south. I think I'm going to head up to kind of the G line. Uh, just because we've got that short range and everything. I think it's going to be best if we try and help out the north. We're quick enough to move around if needs be, so... You know, if we sit fairly far forward... Just to begins with. See if we can get some shells on people. Like this chappy. Just, you know. Yeah, we nearly hit him. This guy. We'd be very lucky to hit. 
what? He's... How? How? How has he got all the way down here and no one actually hit him yet? Okay, I say that and then everybody manages to hit him and he cops it. So, good stuff. And these are right at the edge of our Amy circle, Amy circle thing. So, you know. Probably going to have to try and get forwards a little bit more, which we'll try and do in a bit. I was hoping that he was going to move back there, but... Hey-ho, we've got like 59 shells left and not a very long reload, so... Try that again, shall we? There we go, little bit of damage. Little bit of something. Could do with a guy tracking him, really. Ooh. Okay, that's good. You see, we could really do with hitting him at this point. Get a shell off, go. Yes, keep him tracked. Good stuff. Boop. And they're both dead. Right. Light tanks, very long range. Hmm. Let's see what gets spotted, shall we? Probably going to be worth us. Let's move up. That's great. Okay, good. So we've got some people in range. Although he's not now. Uh. Oh. I thought we were going to... wonder where that... That light tank's going to go. See if we can throw a shell at him, maybe. Ooh, wait for the same time. Maybe we can try and help. Help out over here, maybe. That was weird. Okay, no need. Okay, let's move around then. Not really doing very much damage, are we? Well, at least we're still alive. Let's see what we can do then. Well off, wasn't it? Clicky, 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 clicky. Oh, nice. Maybe we can help out with this chappy. Can we, can we, can we? Whew. A dodgy old shot, wasn't it? Clicky, clicky. Damn it. Okay, let's try again. Try again, maybe. Yes, there we go. Are we going to be able to get another one like that? Oh, there we go. Good stuff. Maybe we can get something on this chat too. Ooh, let the same time happen. Ah. Oh, dear. Okay, so there's only the two of them left. I don't think the M44 has been spotted the whole game and... As I say that, he cops it. Ooh, nearly. 
let's see what we can do here. He's gonna fight. Ah. Haha, <laughs> good game. Okay, so let's have a look at those matches then. Here's the Hummel game. Making that silly mistake of sitting still. It's a loss, unfortunately. Four shots fired, only one direct hit with the penetration and two splash. 665 damage. We got some assistance and stun, although they're only in double figures. Three stuns. Mm. Good credits, though. Nice. Ooh, personal reserve for the, uh, the Burt game. Not too bad. Two kills, not as much damage as you can do with it, but kind of middle of the table. 20 shots fired, only four of those hit four penetrations and four splash, so really only eight shells did something out of those 20 for 767. So you think if, if only twice as many had managed to actually do something, our total damage would have been a lot higher. So no assistance damage, two kills though. Still made good credits even with the personal reserve um, and premium consumable. Yeah, good. That was times two as well. So that crew's coming along nicely. Good. Okay, right. I'll leave it there for this episode then. Oh, the Hummel's difficult, isn't it, nowadays? But uh, it's worth the grind, to be honest. If you can get through the Hummel from from there on, it, it's really quite good. The the GW Panther's good fun. The Tiger P Enus is is good too. And the Tiger and the E100, they're both really, really good. I think the Tiger's probably my favourite out of the Germans, other than the Grill. But, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and stuff if you enjoyed, and I'll see you on Friday. So, until then, bye!